Welcome to metal detecting in Finland. Today we're gonna metal detect a medieval field that's somewhere in that forest. First we have to go there, cross a small river. Should be a bridge somewhere. Let's see if we can make it. It's a glorious, glorious, nice, crisp, cold day. It's about minus five degrees. Small river, not frozen yet. Looking awfully good. We just arrived on target site in the middle of the spruce forest. Quite heavy snow at some places, other places not so much snow. We got an excellent find here. Haven't cleaned it yet, but I can tell you it's a relic. Wow, it's from the from the old farmstead that was here. Can you see that? It's not a button, but it's some kind of decoration. It's been attached to leather, maybe clothes. This is a really cool find. It's because of treasure like this that keeps me digging here in sub-zero temperatures. Really cool. And one hazard I noticed is that you shouldn't touch the metal with your with your bare fingers, hand, or they will get stuck, or your tongue. Mm, mm, mm. It will freeze to the shovel. <sighs> Living dangerous. Life in the fast lane. Alright, let's continue guys. This really keeps me going. Go, go! <laughs> That's a good old trusty horseshoe. I'm in an old field, and we have evidence here that the horse has been around sometimes, long time ago. Ooh. This horseshoe is getting awfully cold now, but great find anyway. It's eerily quiet, and as you all know, in summer you only find summer finds. And now we do the, the winter finds, so we're gonna get pieces of sleds, skis, winter stuff, you know, gold money and such. Another impressive signal in the hall. First I thought it was another one of those horse rings, but then I got a bit happier because I noticed it's a belt buckle and an old one, a round one, so the needle pin would have come to that place, to that part. So pretty cool. Nice looking buckle here on the old medieval fields. Most people don't do winter metal detecting in Finland, I don't really understand why. It's a perfectly fine day, not even so much snow. I am loving it. Hendrik just gave a shout that he has another good signal. So let's go and see what he will be digging up this time. Such strength, such viking. Right. It's always hard with the big tree roots coming off the tree. Right next to the old spruce there. Okay. Hendrik has everything on silent. All the sounds go straightly directly to his headphones. Really good for night hawking, by the way. Okay. Not that we're there into that kind of stuff. Let's see. Let's see it up. Is it a coin? It's here. It there? has to be a coin, I think. All right. It's, getting it's too inside. small for anything I think else. I can see it. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. That's a chunker. That's a, That's a massive coin. Wow, I'm gonna zoom in on that from above. Just a moment. Let's see. Aim better. There, now we all can see it really clear. Yeah, no, no idea. It's a copper one, uh, straight edges, so 1800, I think. That's, Russian. That's a really good find. But I'm not sure. Russian? Why, why do we have Russian coins in this Finnish forest? Because Finland belonged to Russia for over a hundred years. So the Russians were running around here? No, the Finns had oh. to use the Russian money. Oh, that doesn't sound too fun. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's a good one. I'm glad we're using our own currency now. European Union, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> My gloves got wet on the fingertips, so I'm changing gloves now. Because if they get wet, are gonna turn into ice. 
have another pair with me, which are actually double gloves. I put another pair inside this pair to keep them warmer, because in Finland it gets awfully cold sometimes. The trick here is to walk where the snow cover isn't so thick. Some places it's only 5 centimeters, other places it's 20. So you just have to find the right spot. And the good thing about snowy forests is that you never have to be afraid you're gonna walk the same area twice because there's some great footprints wherever you've been. So that helps a lot also. You might ask, how do you metal detect in the snow? Want the ground be frozen? It's impossible, bros. Not even the true Vikings can do that. But, yet, 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 you're wrong. When you go into the spruce forest, you will notice that the ground, yes, it is covered with a bit of snow, but under the, under the moss, under the snow, the ground is gonna be really good to dig through, because the moss works as a, an insulator, which protects the ground from being frozen, and also the thick spruce forest will keep most of the snow away. There we go. Aha, <laughs> a coin again. It was a coin. There we go this time. Again, these copper coins. Ah, it's hard to tell. I think it's an old Swedish coin again. 1700 maybe. Good find. Here is a really good example of the ground. I dug a massive hole and you can see there, it's only the first few centimeters that are frozen down here. It's just good ground to dig through. Look at that. Sadly, in this hole I just got a, a ring, iron from some kind of horse equipment probably. There's been some farming going on here for hundreds of years. Up there I believe there's been some farmhouses, but I'm not sure. We'll have to investigate that. It's a good looking forest. Mm, that's good. Next time I will be bringing my skis with me. This is perfect skiing forest. Shum, 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 shum. Off we go, there we go, here we come. And that means I will be home in 10 minutes instead of 45 minutes walking through this heavy snow. Hendrik shouted that he got another coin and I came running. And turns out he already has four of them while yes. I've been digging up horseshoes and stuff. Let's have yeah. a quick look. Uh, some copper coins. Um, that wow. was a Russian one. What did you say? 18, 30, 40? Yeah, Nikolai the first. It's out of Russia. I'm sure some, maybe another Russian one, a couple of old Swedish coins, 1700s. How do you think they all ended up here? People working on the fields dropped them there. So would they have carried around money like that? Sure, why not? Yeah, well, but you I have money on it. I drop my stuff all the time, yeah. so. Well, nowadays we can just, just drop the credit card, but hey, <laughs> that's a shame. Yeah, well, we're lucky they didn't have credit cards back then. Yeah. Because now we're digging up real fork treasures like this. Cool finds, bro. Thanks. All right, one thing left to do in Winter Wonderland, and that's to get out of here alive. I'll crawl over the dangerous bridge again, and if I survive, please leave me a like. All right, here we go. Yeah.